What's going on guys? Welcome to Cineverse Spot. And oh man, did the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer absolutely deliver. They made it so hype without giving too much away, and dropped a ton of Easter eggs. Certain Wolverine variants like Patch, as well as specific Secret Wars Easter eggs. Yes, we will definitively answer the question if that was Doctor Doom standing on what we think is some sort of Mad Max parody style caravan. We're going to break down everything in this trailer, every detail we know. There are a ton of easter eggs, so buckle up, we're breaking it all down. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Hollywood content on this channel. Everything from official easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report, and everything in between. So if that sort of thing is for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the trailer opens up with it being his birthday, and there's two things I want to point out here. First of which, he starts by saying it's been a rough couple of years. Well, he's referring to a lot of things in a meta sense, but put an asterisk by that. The second thing is, we're seeing a ton of the cast returning from the first two Deadpool films. And the actress who plays Vanessa actually confirmed that they basically filmed their scenes at the beginning of production. Which makes me think, this is the only time we're going to see any of them in the film after he's taken by the TVA. Now, the reason I told you to put an asterisk by, it's been a tough couple of years, is because he's about to make a wish and then blow out the candle, and then immediately the TVA is at the door. You have to imagine, in Wade Wilson's silly mind, he might have wished for exactly this scenario, in which he could save an entire cinematic universe, like the MCU. If you remember back to the original Marvel Disney promo for his Free Guy movie, when he's sitting on the couch with Korg, he is super upset that everybody else is getting a Disney Plus show, and he isn't. So it might be the case that his dream is to do this. He makes the wish, blows out this candle, and then immediately the TVA is there to make that wish come true. That he's weaving these little intricate details into just what might be the first act, first scene in the movie. Now, obviously from there, he's taken by the TVA agents, and it's a little unclear as to what they want him for. But we're introduced to him in the TVA, with Matthew McFadden's character, who has long been rumored to be playing Agent Paradox in the TVA. Okay, so from there, it looks like they're recruiting him. Some of the earliest rumors about this film are that the TVA is assembling a team in order to help fight Kangs, or the biggest threats to the multiverse. We see there, his original suit hanging up in a locker, but we also see a ton of Avengers introduced on a screen as he tries to convince him to be a hero among all heroes. If you pause this for a second, you can see a ton of information on screen. So let's talk about what's on here. If you look at the main three monitors and from left to right, that's footage from Iron Man 1, Avengers 2 Age of Ultron, and Thor Ragnarok. Also, if you zoom in on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the recent Wrexham Emmy acceptance speech that Ryan Reynolds gave from Hugh Jackman's apartment in Deadpool costume. You can actually see that all three monitors focus on the specific Captain America. Man, wouldn't that just be the cameo of all cameos, as Deadpool is traipsing across the multiverse to go ahead and grab a version of Wolverine, but then also a version of Steve Rogers, to bring him back to the 616. A lot of the behind the scenes in this one particular shot of what we think is the void or the desert has already been revealed, but they did give us one quick shot of who we know is going to be the villain of this film, specifically Emma Karin's character, who's said to be Cassandra Nova. She is said to be the villain of this film, or maybe specifically, who the TVA is assembling these heroes like Deadpool to fight, and I have a theory on that that will be coming in a future video. Now, the next absolutely insane cameo in this trailer, after seeing some Avengers and him saluting Captain America, the Void and Emma Karin is a Wolverine variant, specifically Patch, which right past this frame, and when the person walks by, they start fading out as soon as he's on screen. This is a Wolverine variant that obviously wore an eye patch. Hugh Jackman teased this role as a dual role of sorts, so I wonder if the two Wolverine variants that we'll most be getting in this film. Now, outside of him making some jokes here again allegorically about being Marvel Jesus, because he's not only saving the MCU inside of the cinematic universe, 
but he's also referring to him saving the MCU outside of the movie and at the box office. We then see an awesome scene of him getting suited up from one of the TVA agents, and obviously he's feeling himself, but things are not going to go right, which leads to him getting pruned because you see him here fighting against TVA agents. And then the next time we see him with this absolutely insane and amazing reload scene, it's in front of the Fox sign, which confirms that a lot of the cinematic universe is getting pruned because they're not only in front of the Fox sign, but he's in where we suspected was the void. And if there was any question left over if this was the void, you see one of the agents gets gobbled up by a leaf real quickly here in the foreground. Now the next huge easter egg came when people thought they saw Doctor Doom on top of that caravan, and what we now know is the void. But if you zoom in and look at their masks, this is clearly just a Mad Max parody. It is not Doctor Doom. We then see Deadpool get thrown through the wall, and we know what's coming. It's Hugh Jackman's Wolverine finally in the yellow and blue suit. But the biggest easter egg came in that ending scene right as you start zooming in, and to the left, you can clearly see a Secret Wars comic. And this makes good on all of the rumors that this film, this is the one that is meant to be a huge stepping stone as we get to Secret Wars. It's so crazy to think that Deadpool coming out of the Fox universe and the Fox X-Men would be one of the huge stepping stones going into Secret Wars in a movie that was meant to quote unquote, save the MCU. Ultimately guys, I give this trailer an absolute A-plus for Marvel. They knew people were hugely anticipating this, and it could have been a huge letdown and it wasn't. It showed a lot without having to show too much, and the hype now is at an all-time high for this film. We're obviously gonna keep breaking this trailer down with any new theories or easter eggs that show up in the meantime guys. Let me know anything I may have missed down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in and as always hit the subscribe button, like the video, I will see you in the next video.